Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about nutrition and calming down the inflammatory process to your thyroid or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. How do we dampen inflammation and oxidative stress to our thyroid? Behind me, I listed the seven most important things that I think would help dampen inflammatory processes of the thyroid. So let's get into it. Number one, iodine restriction. What that means is you shouldn't take iodine if you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Excess of iodine can be uh, inflammatory and create more oxidative stress to the thyroid gland. Okay, go back to some of our older videos and I spoke about iodine in detail. Myo-inositol, okay? This is a little known nutrient that um, can be quite helpful for the thyroid. So when we look at it, it's considered a B8 vitamin, a vitamin B8. But in reality, it's a sugar, okay? And this type of sugar is actually good for insulin resistance. It helps manage insulin resistance. And the other important part of the myonisitol is that it is a antioxidant, a very strong antioxidant. So it prevents oxidative stress to your thyroid. So you want to reduce iodine intake if you're taking excess of iodine. You want myoinositol and then selenium. Very important mineral for thyroid production and thyroid health. Number four, glutathione. So in our office, when a patient comes in and they have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, we use a couple of different formulas for glutathione. We have one called OxyCell, uh, which is a glutathione cream. We actually apply it right on the thyroid gland to reduce inflammatory load or in, in reduce the thyroiditis or inflammation of the thyroid. Another one is a oral supplementation. Now, certain glutathione uh, supplements don't absorb very well in the gut. We have a formula called trisomal glutathione, which actually can absorb much better within the GI tract, right? So we can do glutathione topically, orally, or we also have rectal suppositories where you can use glutathione and insert it into the rectum and create a uh, absorption, goes right into the portal vein, into the liver. So we can use glutathione in, in a variety of different ways for thyroid patients. So glutathione is a pretty important antioxidant. One of the most important, one of the most potent antioxidants there are. Vitamin D, very important, right? Because vitamin D is an immune modulator. It helps that Th1, Th2 balance, right? So we need vitamin D at proper levels. We like vitamin D levels in our office. We like to see it at least between 50 and maybe 80. Okay, so it's important to do that. Another one is curcumin, right? Curcumin comes from turmeric, right? Things like curry and so forth. So curcumin is, uh, is highly anti-inflammatory and also calms down that Th17 system where it becomes inflammatory uh, during immune modulation. Another one is resveratrol. Resveratrol can be found in grape seed or the skin of the grape. And resveratrol is one of those things um, that's known for anti-aging. And the reason is because it's a potent antioxidant, right? Anti-inflammatory, antioxidants, glutathione, help uh, another an important antioxidant, myonisitol, which is another antioxidant. So we want to prevent oxidative stress. We want to calm the inflammation down, right? And I find these seven things that you can do on your own can create a environment where it's less inflammatory for your thyroid, especially if you have Hashimoto's thyroiditis or active inflammation of the thyroid gland, all right? So if you got to the end of this video, what I'm going to do is this. I have an online store, right? If you instant message me through this or through Facebook and you leave me your name, email, and a phone number through instant messaging, I will go ahead and send you a link for the store. There you can go ahead and purchase whatever supplementation you need. There is a couple of stipulations, so go ahead and instant message us and we will get you the information and you can go ahead and purchase some of this. 
things that you need. However, you need high quality supplementation. You just can't take anything off the shelf. You can't go to a CVS or a Walmart and buy something of, you know, a container this big for 10 bucks and expect it to be a good quality supplement. Professional grade supplementation is very important for health, right? Given all that, all these supplements don't really matter if you're not willing to change your dietary components and your sleeping habits and reduce your stress and so forth. So these are important nutrients. However, there's lifestyle management things that you also need to do in order to help yourself. Okay. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. We'll see you guys next week on the healthy side.